church in America is going underground. It is? Yes. Very soon. Very soon. There will be a harlot church, but the real church will be underground. In the United States? Yes. Very soon. How could it come to this in America? How can a general be court-martialed? Yeah. The cross is taken off the tents for the chaplains. Right. Can't, they can't even pray in the name of Jesus. Wh who's allowing that? A spirit of Antichrist is already right. here. We see photographs from the 1930s in Germany of some churches with swastikas on the church door or the pulpits. Uh, and I, I could never understand, how could a pastor put a swastika on his church? What, what, were they, what were they doing? What were they thinking? Well, as I've matured over the years and studied history, I've come to realize, and as, I, as I've watched this happening in, in America, it makes sense to me now. Those pastors were not supporting Nazism. They were telling the Nazis, we won't oppose you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't hurt us. We yeah. won't oppose you. And that's why they wow. put the swastika on their church. It was cowardliness. So when the Nazis drove by the church, yeah. they saw the swastika and they said, we won't mess with them. We're seeing the same thing in the United States of America right now. There are churches that are now putting out, now I'm not saying a physical, you know, banner, but they're letting the spirit of Antichrist in this country know we won't mess with you, just leave us alone. Huh. Now you had a, you had a vision in 1998, mm -hmm. and you saw this, it, it gave Wilkerson his vision that he printed, he saw cities on fire. He saw New York with hundreds of buildings burning at the same time. Yes. When do you think, uh, you, will you see, you saw the, the refugees, and, and this is the same thing, one second after, is, mm -hmm. is the people walking away because there's no food in the cities. New York has like food for half a day. What are you going to do? Oh, it's going to be okay. They'll take care of us. Who is they? Where are they going to bring the food from? If the trucks don't run, how are they going to get the food into the city? You have to be. You better be smart, or, or, or you better get a hold of God, or you better do something. We'll be right back after this special message. Let me fast forward here real quick. Because there's more that I want to show. But don't. Don't want to show them more. You know, cooking. They were gift mean to God's people, to every saint. Hang on a second. And he's going to, he is going, you don't get even. God's going to get even for everyone who's ever been mean to God's people. Amen. Every saint. To, to every prophet. They killed the prophet. Mm -hmm. God is going to judge them. Isn't that right? That's right. Why are they hiding in the caves when he comes back? He's not grinning. Yeah, that's right. Why are They're they? hiding. They're... They're hiding from a righteous God who's coming back to avenge the blood of the saints. That's right. Jim, you know, in the Old Testament, whenever an innocent person was murdered, and there was no restitution for that innocent person in the Old Testament. A life was required to atone for the death of that innocent person. Mm -hmm. Now, if that holds true for us today, mm -hmm. and 55 million, I've heard 70 million abortions, then we could say if America does not repent, there could be 55 to 70 million casualties. My in this country. Mm. And the other thing, and this, this is, uh, John Price is an attorney. Uh, he was from Indiana, and he's retired. He, he's, uh, he left the country. He lives in Costa Rica now. The Lord told him to get out of the United States. And um, 
John called me one day. I was in... I Out was of in, the United States. Yes, he, the Lord told him to leave the United States. Now, is that one of the most shocking interviews you've ever had? Did some actually God would tell him to no, leave? No, Jim, I, we kind of specialize in shock. It's yeah. kind of hard. <laughs> it's kind of hard to pick out which one is the most shocking. Yeah. Of a lot of people are leaving the United States. A lot of people are hearing from God to leave the United States. That scares me. Yes. I'm, he didn't tell me to leave, so I'm stuck yeah. here. Well, maybe. You don't know. You don't know when that call is going to come. All right. So um, let me tell you something. It, we flew to Panama. I, uh, I want to go farther here because there's something else he had said. I want to talk know. about. To worry about. Mm -hmm. Hang on a minute. But it's not on the news that much. No. No. You tell it on your show? Yes, but I have to search to find the information. The mainstream <laughs> news will not report it. You have they to, will report half the stuff. That's right. It's not... You don't have to worry about mm. what the news is about, about the, uh, the way they slant the news. It's the news they never tell you. That's right. That's there what you is. have to worry about. Mm-hmm. But, but you have been, you have spent years telling Christians to prepare, to stockpile food. Yeah. I'm here to tell you, the famine begins this year. Mm -hmm. You, oh my. This year, Jeff. See, I tell people that. You tell that? It's this year. The mm -hmm. famine starts this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, there was actually a week. Jesus says it's coming a time when there's no food to eat. That's right. Why don't we believe him? Right. How many believe Jesus? Just let me say. I believe him. I believe I Jesus. What the other do? You're all falling sound asleep. Jesus told us what would be the signs of his returning and in the end of the world. Is that right? That's right. Jim, how many years have you been telling people stockpile food? Mm, mm. For the mm. current about twelve years, hasn't about twelve years? I would say. Okay. Now listen, in, in in the book of Acts. Uh, Jim Baker's eating. In the book of Acts. The prophet Agabus went to the apostles and prophesied that a famine was coming. We read this in the book of Acts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The apostles judged it as a true word from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the apostles acted on it mm -hmm. and began to gather food for the saints. Now, I've read that for years. I always thought, well, okay, they got a word from the Lord. It's going to be a food shortage. You know, they acted on it, and the food shortage came, you know, immediately, and, you know, everything was okay. Mm -hmm. I, I did my historical research on it. That famine did not show up for 10 years. <clears throat> oh. Now, the word of the Lord came 10 years prior to the famine. The Lord gave the church 10 years to get ready. Wow. Mm. Mm. The difference between then and now is that the apostles judged it as a word from the Lord and they acted on it. Mm. They had 10 years to stockpile food. Mm. We've got millions of Christians that aren't listening to this at all. They see you no, they're and not. they turn the channel. They hear me yep. and they go on to something else. Right. Yep. They want a preacher who's telling them how to get rich. How to be blessed. That's how right. to get everything. Right. And we're here telling them it's all going away. Yes. Right. And that's what a lot of people are yeah. listening about. Jim Baker is not I mean, telling you how to get man. rich. I and he's not getting fun. rich either. They don't name me by name, but they say, well, that guy that talks about storing food. Right. You know. And what if the Bible's right? The Bible is right. What if Jesus the is Bible right? Bible is right. Jesus is right. What if Jesus is telling the people truth? People are stupid because they don't be want to listen. There is no food to eat before he returns. There will be earthquakes in many places. All the things, they're all happening. The earth is shaking. And there's going to be a time when every earthquake fault is going to go off at the same time from what I'm understanding. Yes. It's going to, the whole world is going to shake like a domino effect of it all all going off at the same time. Yes. What are we going to do? We're going to keep preaching the gospel. Those of right. us who are committed to the end, the Lord will provide. But a lot of people are going to, a lot of people, a lot of the, of the sleeping church, you know, the, 
There were ten virgins. Five were asleep. Five were not prepared. That's where this is at right now, Jim. There's, there's a that, whole bunch of people right. that are not ready for what's coming. That's right. If this egg thing keeps spreading, mm. and they're talking about it going for another 18 months, but how do they know? I mean, if it kills chickens for 18 more months, I don't, I mean, what, 60 percent of price has gone up up to 67 for the prepared eggs. Yes, that's right. For those, yes, for prepared, 67 percent. Those are the ones that are like ours, really, because they put them in cake mixes and they put them in all these other things. And these kind of eggs are going out of the sky. Well, these will last a minimum of 10 years and they're going to last longer than that because they've already pr proven that out. But these buckets, the price is going up to 110 from 100. Mm -hmm. So now it's 110. Mm -hmm. Probably in another two weeks, it'll probably be $150 a bucket. Yeah. And then, then there won't, they'll be so valuable that the Bible says, you know, that gold and silver is just going to be thrown in the street like garbage at some point. And what happens when the federal government confiscates the yeah. food processors? Think about that. The mechanisms now, are in place. how do you place. hear all this stuff? You, 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 man, you are talking an hour a day to the leaders that are behind the scenes, the prophets. You have the great men of God. You have great minds. And they're telling you that the, the markets are going to crash, that these things are coming. How do you sit there and not almost mentally explode when you've got all this information and people are not listening? It's difficult, Jim. And I'm, I'm at the point where I believe the Lord is transitioning our ministry, where he's saying, no more warnings. Oh, no. Just speak to the saints who have listened. Mm. Mm. That's where I'm at right now. Yeah, but I can't take that. I know that. It's hard. It's hard. But he's telling That's my me. call. I know. But he's saying no more warnings. No, my call is, is basically one of the main things is to warn the saints to get ready. Yes. Because I'm preparing them for the great I mean, a revival, which won't be like a revival. It's not going to be a lot of dancing and shouting. But it's going to be millions, I believe, will come to God when all hell breaks loose. There's going to be people who say, well, God is right. Everything is in the Bible is true. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take that because America didn't repent after 9-11. No. No. We went to war. Did you see, you saw 9-11. That's right. God showed it to you. But did God give you any more information of why 9-11 was coming? Did he show you why it was coming or, or what, what man was supposed to do with 9-11? That's why, you know, the rabbi, when he wrote his book, The Harbinger, I didn't, I was said, God, there's got to be a reason for 9-11. If you know anything about pro prophetic words, God doesn't play, he doesn't just say, we're going to go out in the swings because I want to give you a ride in the swing. You know, he's, he's saying the, 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 the earth's going to shift or something. I mean, when he gives you a word, it's for a reason. What word was God giving you the when same, you saw 9-11 ahead of the time? The same reason that he judged Israel, they forgot the God who made them great. Mm, yep. Mm. That's our greatest sin. We have forgotten the God who made us great. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yep. Jim, if, if you have children... And you have blessed them, and you've been kind to them, you've just given them everything, and then they become spoiled. Yes. And then they become arrogant, and right. then they become outright rebellious, and yes. then they become downright wicked. Wow. At what point as a father do you say, I'm taking everything away from you? Yeah. And you get to that point. Okay. That's hmm. where we're at. Boy. <gasps> That's where we're at. Whoa. It's, he's just a loving father. He's going to do some serious correction to us as a nation. Yeah. He's been correcting us. Yep. We've had but so many people that are into this hyper-dispensationism occult not gonna listen. will not yeah. listen. We just, we've become a rebellious brat to God. Uh, we've stiffened our neck and we've said, I Like uh, you, some people I, I know are... Wow. 
rebellious right brats, bullies that want to try to get people to believe their stupid ways. Six thousand years of humanity, and we think we're going to get away with it. This is in America. Push the court martial general for thanking God. He was speaking at the National Day of Prayer. Yes. We've always been allowed to participate. In. Presidents participated in National Days of Prayer. It says, despite the religious nature of the event, the Military Religious Freedom Foundation has called for Olson to be aggressively and very visibly brought to justice for his unforgivable crimes and transgressions. Adding that any other service members who helped him should be investigated and punished to the full extent of military law. It, have you seen his serve, his message? It's a, it was like 30 minute long, 20, 30, something like that I think it was. That's right, it was 23 minutes long. And it was, it was just a beautiful, you know, not overly religious, but just honoring God, and, and, and it, was, it was for the day of prayer. So why wouldn't it be on prayer? We have outlawed God. Our Supreme Court has outlawed God. You can't put up the Ten Commandments. Well, you you see, they were the basis of law, Stop. basis of the courts. For now, and do some some other things. My ham radio is uh, talking right. The people talking right now on my ham radio. But I I, I want I, I want to I want to get something cro across to you people who want to keep putting Jim Baker down, who is trying to warn us of what's coming. <coughs> and you also heard what Rick Wiles said of true news. But yet you still want to argue and complain your stupid ways and your stupid beliefs that is a lie. Why? Why do you want to do that? Why do you want to keep on preaching? Everything's fine. Everything's good. Nothing bad's going to happen. And once saved, always saved. When it's not true, you can fall away from God. You can fall away from Jesus. You can fall away from your first love. It says so in Revelations 2. It's also in uh, 2 Peter 2. You can fall away or backslide, as the saying goes, and return back to your old vomit. Like a dog eat, returning to its vomit and eating its own vomit. I had a message from God myself that Christians are like dogs returning to their vomit. And that is what's wrong with this world. You are believing, you are believing in a false doctrine, a false teaching. And when real teachers are, are, are teaching the truth, you want to condemn them and put them down. There's a woman that made a YouTube video about Jim Baker's food. Hey, come on now. I had ate his food. Me and Renee, it took us two to three days to finish one package. Two to three days to finish one package. And you're saying that uh, the math doesn't add up? Stop doing math. Open up a package and, and cook it and see how much you have left after you get full from it. You'll have plenty left for a, another day or two. But yet, you want to gripe and you want to complain and you want to run your fingers and your mouths and say and things that is not true. 
It's time to wake up, church. Wake up, church. Wake up, preachers. Wake up before it's too late. Actually, it's already too late, really, when it comes right down to it. God's already judging our nation, but you're not listening. You're not listening. The drought, the famine, the pestilence, weather going crazy. It is all God trying to get our attention, and you're not listening. Because you refuse to listen. You won't believe in false preachers and false doctrines. Well, there's a special hell waiting for those preachers and a special hell for you who believe in those false doctrines. Hyper dispensationalism. Uh, hyper dispensationalism. Yeah, I can't talk right now. My brain's going a, a mile a minute here. I'm also trying to preach the truth, and there are people that want to put me down as well. And and back when I first started watching Jim Baker and, and got the food and uh, the water bottles and the water pitchers, that's the first time I ever heard of Shea Shell water filtration. And then someone on my YouTube video I just posted or, uh, yesterday said, oh, you can get a bottle for $16.83 on Amazon. Well, yeah, okay, here's the bottle. But it's not the same one that I bought for $60 from Jim Baker. The filter is not the same. This bottle right here is the one I bought from Jim Baker. It has a special radiation filter to uh, ra uh, remove uh, radiation and nuclear contaminants and of course everything else that uh, <clears throat> all the other uh, bacteria and chemicals that are harmful to a human in the water. $24.99 here. Free shipping, it says. But, um... Is it from Seychelles, or did somebody else buy a bunch of these bottles and, and selling them a cheaper price? I don't know. Well, here, uh, yeah, well, here's uh, the places. Here's the different places that um, are, are selling this bottle. Nuke pills, uh, pure uh, essence health. Uh, of course, it starts at 24 dollars 27 and it goes up to 115.88. Now uh, see, they say free shipping. And it says ships in one two business days. Ships from North Carolina. So this company must have bought a whole bunch of these bottles at a cheaper price and sell them at a cheaper price. That's the only way possibly that they were able to do that. Well, you know, like I said, I never knew that, you know, I never looked it up on Amazon because uh, I was only told that the shade show can be bought through either a ministry that uh, like Jim Baker and there's some other ministries also saying, selling the same kind of bottles or through the Shea Shell company itself 
And let me tell you, the show shell company itself is a lot more. A whole lot more. Anyhow, like, well, uh, let me go here real quick um, to uh, some scripture before I lose time. Second uh, Peter two. Uh, 21 and 22. Deception of false teachers is the uh, heading. And then there's uh, depravity of false teachers, doom of false teachers, and destructive doctrines. Right here it says, for it is better, excuse me, it for for it would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness or salvation than having known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered by them but has but it has happened to them according to the True proverb, a dog returns to its own vomit, and show having washed to their wallowing in the mire. In other words, you can turn away from Jesus Christ and His commandments. You can turn away from God and return to your vomit and your own mire that you came from. And then, uh, yeah, real quick here uh, in Revelations to to, uh, 2, uh, uh, starting with, uh, 4, Nevertheless, I have this against you, and this is what Jesus is saying. He has something against the church that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, oh, you can fall from grace, repent and do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. And when Jesus said, I come quickly, he's coming quickly for the sleeping church. He's coming quickly, or like a thief in the night, for the sleeping church and the loveless church. But, you know, people want to say, well, He's coming like a thief in the night that we're not supposed to know when he comes. Yes, we are to know when he is right at the door. Get it straight. Stop lying. Stop believing in the false doctrines that the... That the, uh, that, uh, is teaching that everything's good and everything's fine, nothing bad's going to happen. Wake up, look around what's going on. God bless you. Have a blessed day.